All right, guys, here I got the 2021 Specialized Stump Jumper S-Works Evo, the new, 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 new. Uh, this is the S2 size, the frame S2 sizing. It's weighing 30 pounds, six ounces. That's what the SWAT storage, which I'll show you in the video. And then kilos, 13.77 kilos. Um, stay tuned after the, the video as well, where I'm gonna do a free up test on this thing. And I'll show you guys it in the video. Thank you guys. Hey, how's it going everybody? This is GC Performance here, back with another video. Today I have for you the new, new, specialized uh, 2021 S-Works Stump Jumper Evo. This bike just got released, I think, uh, yesterday. They showed it off, or two days ago. And uh, I got one to my store right now. So I'm gonna go over all the specs, the features, and kind of all the new gadgets they got going on with this bike. And uh, and I'll get into it, yeah. So this is the, uh, the S-Works model. Retail is $9,900 on here. Uh, they are no more longer doing the sizing by small, medium, and large. They are now going to their S sizing, and the S sizing ranges all the way from S1 all the way up to S6, and everything in between. I'll kind of talk about that later on as well. Um, and then they made some changes as well for the whole Evo frame. Uh, with the new Evos, they are doing um, more slacker geometry. They did put a flip chip in here as well, which I'll talk about. And also you can, with the S-Works model, I believe, you can change out the rear wheel to a 27 and a half and make it that mullet bike where you're rocking a 29 in the front and 27 and a half for the rear. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll get right into it. So S-Works framing, you are rocking a, a fact carbon 11M carbon fiber. You do still have the SWAT storage system on here. This is that patented sidearm technology as well. What that sidearm technology is gonna do, it's gonna make the bike more laterally stiff. It's asymmetric design, so it's gonna make it stiffer as well. So you're not gonna get as much frame flex on those climbs. This is a very cool piece. This is only for the S-Rex models. This is a full carbon linkage for that, that little link arm. It looks really badass. I mean, you can see the carbon weave. Here, let me get this on light. You can see that carbon weave right there. It looks insane. I, I just, I like little details like that. I think that's really cool on there. This is still alloy. Um, but yeah, going to the back here, you do still have a two-piece system for the linkage. And uh, the reason for that is that on here that you do have this flip switch. They actually change it. The flip switch used to be on here for the old Stumpies. Now this is the Evo and it's gonna be the flip chip is gonna be right here. And you guys can kind of see it says high and low. Right now it is in a high position, so it is gonna be 10 millimeters higher for the bottom bracket. If you put it into a lower one, it'll make it a lot more lower to the ground. It'll be 10 millimeters lower from the bottom bracket point. And when you do that, this, this is only gonna change the bottom bracket height for the back. Like usually it used to be change the bottom bracket and also the head tube angle, but now you can do that individually. So you have to change this one on this side. There is another one on this side as well for the flip chip. So you have to do both when you do it. High and low, that's a piece of tape right there. Uh, but yes, yeah, so you have to do both. So they're both in the high position right now. So if you want to make it lower, you can. You just have to do that. And up here, you can kind of see this. You can actually change this two degrees, the head tube angle. So you see that there's a race right there for the bearing, but right here behind it, there's like a little metal piece. So what you do, you loosen the stem up you take it off, you remove the spacers, and you can actually flip this around to make that two degrees more out or two degrees more in, depending if you want to be more slacked or more nimble for trail riding. Um, and that's the benefit of that S sizing, which I'll talk about right now, is that there is no more small, medium, and large. Yes, this is a smaller bike, this is the S2, um, but the S sizing, what that means is like, I'm six foot, uh, I could either ride an S2 or S3, depending on where I want to ride at. The S3 will be a lot more longer of a bike, and more slacked out for downhill riding, or I can even go S4 if I really want to, like a big downhill bike, kind of similar to a demo with that big long wheelbase, slacked out head tube. Or if I want to do more of both, I can get the S2, which I can ride in trails around here in Florida, or I can ride in trails that are normal, that I don't have to take a lift on, but I still have some capabilities to do lift riding if I wanted to, but I prefer, I prefer an S3. So really you have to decide on what kind of ride you're gonna be doing with this bike, and then choose the sizing off that. Uh, I could ride both, which is pretty cool, just like I ride both medium and large, but the S3 is a big bike for me, and I prefer the S2 sizing, which this is it right here. Um, my preference though, don't base your sizing off me. I say go into a bike shop, try it out, see how you like it. Uh, I do like bikes a little bit smaller because they're a little bit easier to throw around on little jumps and stuff like that. Um, also, for sizing wise, the S1 is the only model that's gonna be 150 millimeter travel fork. S2 to S6 is all gonna be 160 millimeter travel. So just to keep that in head of mind. So crank-wise, you're rocking a threaded crank. You have the Dub X01 crank. I don't know why they did that, but uh, should have put XX1 on S-Works, but I mean, maybe to cut costs, who knows, get underneath that 10,000. 
The MRP chain guide is included, so that way you're not dropping chains. You have a SRAM Wireless Eagle X uh, axis back here, XX1, and you're getting a 10, and then the high gear is gonna be that 52 tooth, so the new 52 tooth, just a one-up Shimano from the 51, now it's a 52 tooth. Tires on here, I think this is cool. These are brand new tires for this year. Not brand new, they just changed the look of them. You have the green specialized logo, looks pretty badass. It's kind of a chameleon look. You have the Butcher Grid Trail, and now it's their T9, which is like their newest rubber compound out. Very soft, grippy tires, but strong sidewalls. So very, very nice tires. On the back right here, the Eliminator, the Grid Trail, T7. The tires are very nice. And then also the, um, the T7 is gonna be a little bit lighter of a tire. It's not gonna have as strong as a grid wall in there. Going up to the front, this is going to be equipped with a Fox 36 fork, 160 mils travel. You do have your adjustment gauges up here. You can compress it down to make it a little bit stiffer if you like. And you can also control your, what is this? Your low, shot, your low speed compression as well. There's rebound controls on the bottom here as well. And then here on the side is going to be your, uh, where you put in the air at. So you just remove the cap, but your local bike shop will do that for you if you bought it. Going up to the top here, the bike does come spec with code RSC brakes, a four piston brake caliper. You have pad contact adjustments right here. You have lever reach adjustment right here. Very, 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 very strong four pistons brakes. Sorry about that guy, they got a phone call. Anyways, um, guide RSC brakes. These are very, very downhill brakes. I mean, you got enough adjustment here for motorcycle riding, dirt bike riding, whatever the hell you want. Very strong four piston brakes. They work great. And then you're gonna get spec up in here. I think this is a 200 millimeter front rotor which is massive. Yep, 200 millimeter front uh, center line rotor. The rear is gonna be a, looks like a 200 as well. Huge rotors, man. Getting some top end speed, you'll be fine. Um, SWAT storage, this is something new. I wanna show you guys this real quick. So inside here, the SWAT storage is not new, but you have the water ball attachment, attachment. you can put a 22 or 24 ounce in there. You have your SWAT storage bag, which you can put in whatever you want inside there, like a pump, a tube, uh, bike tools, everything like that, that's included with the bike purchase. But this is new for this year. This is a SWAT storage water camelback thing. It's 22 ounces full bladder. Uh, so if you wanted to, you can have this inside your SWAT storage. And then on top of you, you can have another 22 ounce bottle. So you're getting a full on 44 ounces of water if you didn't want to take a camelback onto the trail riding. Um, preference to you. If you do have this full, I don't see how you can get this inside of there. So that's going to be your pick your poison if you want to do it. If you don't need a flat kit, then maybe you can. Maybe you can get both in there. I just don't know. That's for you guys to figure out and test out yourselves. Um, putting the SWAT storage back on. Makes it look real difficult with one hand, but it is super easy. Right here. And... Ka! Done. Uh, so yeah. So you do have a Fox. 36, factory, Kashima Koda, top line, all that good stuff. I believe it's 44 millimeter rake to go with the specialized S-Works Stump Jumper Evo. Rear shock, you're gonna get a Fox FX, or sorry, DPX2, uh, is a float factory design. They actually redesigned this full on the tuning for this bike. They made it way more uh, nimbler. I, I believe as, as well, when you're pedaling, the bike does not bounce up and down as much. So they redesigned the whole tune on this bike to make it so it's not squishy. You have some actual uh, performance when you're going ahead and uh, actually riding the bike. So big benefit to them there. Um, dropper seat post on here. You do have a specialized reverb. I'm sorry, a RockShock reverb. Wireless access seat post. You would expect nothing less than the S-Works, but wireless, press it, seat post goes down, all the way down, rocket it, goes back up. This handlebar is brand new for this year as well, sorry. This is the new Revol. Got the name right here. I'm gonna show you. Very cool Revol handlebar. 35 millimeter clamp size for the year. Brand new. They're rocking a DD Copperhead 35 millimeter bar. Specialized, never made a carbon 35 millimeter bar. Glad to see they're branching out. Looks good. Just a normal carbon bar with a little bit of Revol branding. Looks sweet. Grips are gonna be DD uh, grips as well. Just lock-ons on there. That's a nice brand. I mean, I love DD. They make great, great quality stuff. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think. The There is no more flip chip on here as well. Sorry, that's not gonna do it for us. I'm just gonna let you guys know something real quick. There's no more flip chip on the rear shock. The flip chip is here. And the adjustment for the head tube slack is right here. SWAT storage, 
Boom, you got a tool right here, a multi-tool, so you don't have to worry about that inside your SWAT kit. You have your Allen key, very James Bondish, very nice plus. And then the wheels on here are gonna be the Revol Traverse SL 29er wheels uh, with Revol branding hubs, J-hook spokes. They are hookless, they are 30 millimeter internal width, uh, so very wide, very light. And in the rear, it is a DT Swiss ratchet system, 54 tooth. Stay tuned after this for a sound test, but it is a 54 tooth DT Swiss ratchet. You can see right there, Revol powered by DT Swiss. So now it's gonna do it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys are liking the new Evo, if you guys like the frame design, if you guys like this bike at all, let me know down in the comment section below. If you guys enjoy the video, please give me a big thumbs up. I have a bunch of new bikes coming out. I'm excited. There's so much stuff to do. It's crazy. My, my timing is crazy. I dropped the rubber cap right here. That's crazy. Everything's crazy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, everything's going great. I have a bunch of new bikes. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'll see you all in the next video. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye. All right, Specialized 2021 S-Works Evo with the Revolve Traverse SL and 54 to the ratchet. Free of buy sound test. Boom. Bye.